I'm back with yet another crappy idea. I push my porta potty down the hill and I just crash it into the ocean. But then I can buy more speed. I will make this work if it's the last thing I do, I swear. Go, get somewhere. Is that, was that a shark? What? How am I, how am I back to life? What happened? And why does it look like I'm gonna make a plane? Whatever, more speed. I will break the world record for the longest porta potty ever sent into the Antarctic. And I think a big issue that I'm actually having is how bumpy this hill is. I think that's killing all the speed that I'm able to actually get. So I'll get one smoother decline and another smoother decline actually. And hopefully now I'm actually able to get a little further and it looks like I'm going way faster. Oh yeah, I'm getting much farther. 222 feet that time. How much money did that get me? About a thousand dollars, my God. If I'm getting $1,000 per run, I'm gonna be able to buy the mass amount of upgrades in no time. Like this canopy. Not that I'm actually sure if that does anything. I just, I know I could buy it. Is that gonna send me any further at all? Or is it just a waste of money? Oh, uh, well, I went exactly as far as I have been, so. However, I can buy smoother decline again. Good to know that I'm not like, you know, wasting all of my money and I'm getting some form of profit out of this. Oh yeah, about an extra six feet and there was a shark again. One more good run here, go for a backflip. Oh no, I can't backflip anymore? What? Man, so I'm just supposed to quit eating me. Just supposed to do nothing, whatever. At least I can buy an engine now and some fuel. So I'm assuming if I just hit like space bar, I get more speed. Yep, that worked out perfectly. Okay. Wow, this is kind of an insane run. I got 2,800 right there. I went 630 feet, my God. Something tells me with max biofuel and four out of five on my speed, this is about to be an extremely good run. I wish I had some form of fuel meter though. I'm just kind of eyeballing it at this point. Wait, am I about to break a thousand feet? Oh my gosh, $5,000 from one run. <laughs> Please stop, I'm begging you. Give me the wings. I feel like with wings now, I'll be able to have better control over my portal plane thing. Why well, yeah, I'm at 1500 feet and I'm still in the air. Uh oh, I'm starting to fall now. Okay, everything bad is happening. Please, oh, I reached my goal. And <laughs> I just, I blew up. Oh no. Let me buy the proper upgrades that I'm gonna need before I do anything crazy from now on. All right, give me one tail and I'm $400 short off landing wheels, man. That's fine, $400 to me is like just one run away and I'm diving straight into the ocean. Give me the wheels. Now I think as long as I have the wheel touching the ground, if I reach 2000 feet, I'm probably not gonna explode. Let's find out. Oh, I did it, I did it. I landed this plane success, I don't even have a license. And I unlocked the next area, there's more areas. Well, the game started me with $10,000. So I'm immediately buying the engine and fuel. I guess I'm on a trip to go around the world and that looks so goofy. Because I have the engine and fuel, I'll at least be able to get money at a faster rate. Speed and speed. And then I'll take a smoother decline. I have to get much further on this one from now on. I have to go 5,000 feet. Well, I'm able to buy one more speed and one more decline. The plane upgrades are actually a lot more expensive this time around, but it looks like I'm using a titanium alloy mixture, so that makes sense. And this one run off those two upgrades took me to 1500? Man, this whole upgrade thing is getting pretty easy after all. The next thing I probably need is if I just got the wings, I should be able to carry myself till about like 3,000. However, wings cost 10K. Ah, screw it. Smoother decline. I guess now I keep my permanent speed no matter what I do, so that's good. But it'll probably take me more than one run to be able to make up the difference. Or it won't, I have the wings now, perfect. <laughs> all right, time to get flying. The wings make it where I coast super far, so all I have to do is slightly point up, hit space bar, and then go on my way. Wow, I was right. I flew over 3,000 feet just after I got the plane wings. How much money am I about to get off this alone? Oh, 1,500. That's casual, yeah. Yeah, no, no, that's completely fine. Uh, I'll just increase my speed and I'm broke again. Perfect. However, I'm fairly confident that after this one run, I'm gonna pretty much be able to buy every last upgrade. I'm starting to feel sorry for all the millions of little aquatic creatures that I'm just quite literally dumping poop out onto. <laughs> all right, by the tail, canopy, and landing wheels, and now I'm perfectly maxed on everything. Wow, this plane looks menacing. All right, off to 5,000 feet. Wow, I just used one tiny little boost and I go flying. Having all the plane upgrades actually sends you so far. Why am I so high up? Not even commercial air pilots are able to do this. I'm just one man who drank too many Red Bulls. <laughs>
Well, the game wants me to prepare for landing, so I mean, I guess I can drop the wheels, but I'm not gonna be touching the ground for a while. That's fine, just stick the landing and everything will go okay. Wow, perfect. I got $29,000 off that? Am I gonna be able to buy all the upgrades in this next area instantly? I can buy an engine and wings, so kinda. Increase speed twice, make the decline smoother once. Oh yeah, and I need fuel, oops. I just keep getting a ton of money off my old like little upgrade. <laughs> this time I have five fuel slots, so like I'd like to just keep buying more fuel for myself. Wow, okay, well, there's all five. <laughs> the more fuel I have, the easier it is to go the distance. For instance, I'll probably be able to break a thousand feet with this just very, very crappy plane. Haven't they all been crappy planes so far? Or sorry, I'll be able to go over 1,500 feet now that I have all that fuel. How much money is this about to be for me? Oh yeah, 7,800 bucks. Speed, 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 decline, decline. And now that I have these, I'll be able to go even further than 1,500. Oh, the game makes it easy for me. I'd like to be able to get $15,000 because that's how much it costs for my next plane part. And it kind of looks like I'm building a passenger plane from how large this back end is. Out of fuel, plummeting towards earth, not a care in the world, but I still broke 3,800 feet. And I got 16,000 dollars which is a coincidental amount because it lets me buy the nose of my plane one tiny nose doesn't look like it'd make a difference but for some reason it makes the entire world of one if i just tap my little fuel i'm constantly going up slightly in height and using like two fuel while doing it i might have just discovered the best way to fly this airplane all right fuel is gone and is that superman hello I went up to 2,700 feet while I was flying. But much like Icarus, I too have to come back down to earth. $2,600 in one shark. Cool, thanks. I'll buy the canopy and the landing wheels just to have those out of the way. Max out my decline and I have enough for one tiny speed increase. I feel like there's a chance now that I have the entire plane maxed out that I could make it to 10,000 unless speed is that big of an issue. Well, I've passed 5,000 feet. However, I only have 60 fuel left. So maybe that speed is an actual factor. Might as well deploy my landing gear. Maybe that'll help. Nope, not, not one tiny bit. Oh, thank you, Orca. Wait, I can buy tricks. I forgot about this. I'll buy them all. Okay, uh, let's get some height real quick and then do a cool trick. Wait, does that give me money? Hang on, if this gives me money, then this might be the best thing that I could have bought for my plane. I don't know where the front of my plane is. I'm stuck just doing tricks. I'm a showman at the end of the day, what can I say? Hopefully, oh, hi Superman, can you give me another boost, please? I'm plummeting, save me. You freaking jerk. I got $5,000 off tricks alone. I should have been doing that for money this entire time. Well, from now on, my plane looks like this. I don't really know which direction I'm going. I think I'm going up and forward, but you see what I'm seeing, it's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> This is unironically starting to make me motion sick. Oh wait, am I about to reach 10,000 feet? I am! Nice, and I forgot to deploy my landing gear. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Well, now that I know I'm actually able to make it there with my just current upgrade level, let's cool it on the just vertigo causing spins and make it all the way to 10K. Well, I'm out of fuel, so now I just have to hope I have enough speed to actually get there in 2000 with height. Please, I'll deploy the landing gear. Come on, make it. Yes, goal reach. Preparing for landing, sir. Go. <laughs> Perfect. Well, now that was easy enough. And I got 47,000 off of it. Oh, wait, I have $100,000. Um, I can just kind of do that and then buy all the fuel, all the decline, and mash my speed already. Wow. It pays to be rich, huh? <laughs> Barrel roll, go! I need to reach 15,000 on this one, so I think I'm probably gonna need my speed to be maxed out. And look at my boost trail, it's purple, that looks so cool. Let's just get as high as I can. I feel like that would be fun. I somehow only got to 2,000 in height. Wow, my speed is pathetic. 34,000 off of a measly 3,800 run. The upgrades are starting to pour in. <laughs> So it looks like as long as I have some velocity, my height keeps going up. And so if I just tap barely whenever my velocity gets near 100, I'm just perpetually going up in height. Am I gonna be able to go to outer space? I'm 3,500 feet in the air. I feel like that's outer space territory by now. Oh yeah, what do you know? Ask and you shall receive. Hello stars. And there's, is that Goku? What? <laughs> I'm just one man in a porta potty. I didn't think I'd be hanging out with Goku in the upper asteroid belt. And now time to mash tricks as I plummet all the way to Earth because I still need money to pay for rent. It's for the greater good after all. I mean, so what if I have to die? 
I did just get $88,000 after all. Oh, and that just so happens to be how much the last speed upgrade cost. <laughs> Something tells me I'm not actually gonna need the final speed upgrade. And instead, using my patented barrel and boost strategy, I'll be at the end before I know it. Oh, look, it's Goku again. Hey, buddy. He said he'd teach me how to do the Kamehameha wave at the end of all this, so that's something to look forward to. You know, it was close, but I'm still 900 feet away. Oh, if I upgrade my speed, it lets me have a larger velocity, so now I can go up to speeds of 325. I thought it just launched me off the ramp faster this whole freaking time. Now my velocity caps out at 300, but I don't think that's able to make up the difference. Either way, I guess I should still drop my landing gear, huh? And I'm 600 feet away. I can buy no other upgrades. You know what, that's fine. I'll, I'll make it work. With my patented tap and boost strategy, I'll use minimal boost and Superman will come in to help me out to get a ton of height. And I'm hoping I don't run out of boost until about the 10,000 feet mark. I'm falling pretty fast, however, I only need 500 more feet and I reach my goal, just like that. Let's do one big trick, just to send it home. Lower the landing gear, steal our hearts, men, as we have touchdown! I'm sorry, did this give me 200k because I went into outer space? I- what's happening? I'm being crane lifted onto a spaceship? Oh, I see. I was always meant to go to the moon.